Welcome. This is my global weather report for the week ending in the 12th of July. It's winter in Australia and high winds and huge waves have forced the closure of most of the public beaches along the Queensland's coast. Southern California was hit with a second earthquake on July the 5th, this time much larger than the previous one on the July the 4th, but fortunately caused only minor injuries and no deaths. On July 4th, Anchorage, Alaska set an all-time record high temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit, beating the old record for that date by 13 degrees Fahrenheit and the all-time record by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat wave has continued as you will see later on in this video. Apparently there's such a thing as toxic caterpillars, and some parts of Europe are getting invaded by them. Particularly Germany and Netherlands are suffering at the moment by these so-called oak processionary caterpillars. They can cause bad allergic reactions in some people. The mild winter and warm spring weather has been favourable for their development and apparently the UK is also threatened by them. On the 6th of July I found this report about massive wasp nests developing. This has given me nightmares ever since. They seem to be appearing in Alabama in particular and they can be the size of a small car. In some cases they've been found inside a small car. Milder winters allow perennial nests to survive so if you find one, don't disturb it. Get professionals help to deal with it. A series of wildfires have hit Ontario in Canada. Low humidity and high temperatures have encouraged the fires and produced an extreme fire danger situation. At the moment there are 19 separate wildfires burning all out of control. The largest of these has so far burned 74,000 hectares or about 150,000 acres. A 6.9 magnitude earthquake hit Indonesia on the 7th of July. It was a depth of 15 miles and there was a tsunami warning issued but it turned out there was none detected. There are no reports of death or serious injuries so far. You may recall the last couple of weeks I've reported on cyanobacteria contamination in New Jersey, in Florida and along the Gulf Coast. Now that contamination has spread up the Mississippi River. On all 21 beaches in the state are now closed. Exposure could cause rashes, stomach aches, cramps, nausea, diarrhea and vomiting. And you should not eat fish or shellfish from the infected waters. So I hope that these two folks are very unsuccessful in their fishing expedition. On the 8th of July it was reported that Pakistan had lost some of its land mass. A small island had formed by an earthquake in 2013 off the Pakistani coast. It was basically the top of a mud volcano and the relentless action of the waves has now finally washed it away. On the 8th of July heavy thunderstorms were reported over Spain. Now these seem to be spreading across Italy and France over the next few days and into the Balkans later in the week. Uh, high winds and flash flooding is expected in these areas as a result of these uh, heavy storms. On the 8th of July, an historic rainstorm hit Washington DC, so this report is uncomfortably close to home as far as I'm concerned. A slow moving set of thunderstorms rolled through the area. Over three inches of rain fell in one hour at National Airport. That's monsoon level rain. Flash flooding resulted and water rescues on local streets, including Constitution Avenue. This street is rather aptly named Canal Street and was almost completely washed away by the storm. There were delays at the airport and Amtrak had to suspend operations for a while. On July the 9th, Indonesia announced that it was returning garbage to Western nations. A lot of third world countries are being used as the dumping ground for toxic waste from these countries. The USA, France and Germany are the main culprits. You may recall last week I was talking about the Indian monsoon and saying it was a bit of a mixed bag with some parts of India getting inundated with water while other parts were still in drought. Well that situation seems to be changing now. Uh, the monsoon pattern is becoming more active and northeast India which was the dry part before is now expecting about half a meter of rain in the next five days. On the 10th of July the scientific advisors to the UK government said that they were ill prepared for the effects of global warming uh, such as flash flooding and heat waves and any other uh, effects that come along as a result of climate change. On the 11th of July a series of strong thunderstorms hit a Greek tourist resort. 
Six tourists were killed and hundreds were injured. I'm wondering if this was part of the same storm system that was hitting Spain a few days earlier. Something to be filed in the strange but true folder. Arctic temperatures now are currently warmer than the Great Lakes. A Prudhoe Bay is as much as 10 degrees centigrade above normal. The Alaska temperatures are still setting records and the sea ice in the area extent is at its low all time low. Poor old Canada seems to be having a rough go of it this week. Air, an Air Canada flight hit severe turbulence over the Pacific Ocean on the 11th of July. Uh, 36 people were injured on board and the flight was diverted uh, to Honolulu for repairs and also to treat the injured. The World Meteorological Organization on the 12th of June said that there have been an unprecedented number of wildfires in the Arctic. It's becoming a significant source of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. The fires have emitted over 50 megatons of carbon dioxide in June alone. Another place that seems to be getting unprecedented number of wildfires is Hawaii. On the 12th of July, thousands were evacuated from two towns on Maui. Over 1,200 hectares burned uh, so far and the airport was closed temporarily due to the smoke and fumes. Last but not least, let's talk about Tropical Storm Barry. But breaking news is no longer a tropical storm. Just before landfall, it became a hurricane category one. It's been producing flooding from Florida to Louisiana, particularly hitting New Orleans hard. Over 500,000 have lost power. Uh, hundreds of thousands have been evacuated. Some oil rigs in the Gulf have been abandoned and rains could last for days producing major flooding in an area that's already been saturated by heavy rain. Okay, I have a question for you. Based on all these weather reports over the last week, do you believe we are on a warming or a cooling planet? I'll give you a few seconds to think this through. Then I'll show you some data to show one way or the other. Here is the global data so you can estimate what, uh, whether your answer was correct or not. The daily records, there were 661 new high temperature records compared to just 253 low temperature records. That's a ratio of 2.6 to 1 in favour of high temperatures. Monthly, we had 25 new monthly records set compared to just 4 uh, low temperature records set. That's a ratio of 6 to 1. All time, which are very difficult to set, we had eight new high temperature records and zero new low temperature records. So I would say that overall, high temperatures dominated this last week's weather. Well, that's all the weather news for this week. If you enjoyed this, please pass this on to your friends and family. So until next time, stay safe. Bye for now.